kitchen. This next recipe brings back so many memories of making little mini cheesecakes with my mother and they're really good. Here's everything you'll need for the mini cheesecakes. I have fond memories of making these when I was a child. Uh, my mom and I would make them together. You need sugar, vanilla wafers, whatever topping you would like. I have blueberry and cherry and I also have fresh strawberries. I'll probably put on a few of them. Vanilla, a pound of cream cheese, two eggs. You need the cupcake pans with the liners, large bowl, mixer, and that's it. So the first thing you do is you start out with vanilla wafers. And then my mom's recipe, she says Nabisco, I think. Nabisco wafers, but I don't think it really matters. I happen to have Nabisco, so. Oh, and I have my oven preheated to 375. Okay, the next thing is one pound of cream cheese in my bowl. After the cream cheese, two eggs. My sugar, that's a half a cup of sugar. And one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, beat first four ingredients together. Okay, now it's time to fill the cupcake liners. All right, so I'm gonna try to, it's pretty liquidy, so I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Yeah, that's, it's easy this way. I just scoop it, and then rub the ladle against the bowl, and it doesn't really drip. So you fill them three quarters of the way. I'm digging up a lot of old recipes from my childhood and even later in life. And I have some really, really good recipes from my mother-in-law also. She made the best beef brisket I have some fish recipes, chicken recipes. So that's all coming soon. I'll finish this one up and then do the other tray off camera so you don't have to watch this whole thing. That looks good. And then just clean up the little spills here and there. But I'll be back when both trays are all filled. Okay, recipe says that this makes about 18 to 20 cupcakes. I ended up with 15. I guess it depends on how much you fill them up. But I have my oven uh, set to 375. You bake for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the tops crack slightly. And after they're done, you let them cool and then you can put your toppings on. I just took them out of the oven and as you can see they're a little bit cracked on top. I had them in for about 14 minutes and like I said 10 to 15 minutes depending on your oven. So just check to see when they're a little cracked on top. All right time to cool off. Okay they're cooled off and I'm going to do a few different toppings. The first one I'm going to do are blueberries. Blueberries. I went right to the cherries. These are cherries. 
I was wondering why it looked different. All right, so here's the cherry filling. I'm gonna go to the blueberry. I like the way the blueberries look on top. Hi Bella, you ran over here like there's some emergency. Okay, I have a story about these mini cheesecakes. My cousin used to do my taxes every year and I would always say how much I want to give you money and he would not accept money. So he would tell me just make the cheesecakes and that would be my payment. That's how much he likes the, the cheesecakes. So I thought that was funny. Okay. Blueberries, those are the cherries, these two, I mean these two, and then um, you could also do fresh raspberries on top, whatever you feel like doing. You could also do like uh, raspberries and a syrup also. I have one strawberry here. Put those on top. Could do that. Oops, I made a mess. And then you can present it on something. I'm gonna use this. How pretty that looks. And this is how they came. I have just the blueberry topping ones and the fresh strawberries. I tried one of each and they are delicious. So let me know if you try this recipe. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching.